Hey guys, welcome to WP Editing Tutorials and in today's video tutorial, we'll be learning how to install WP Matrimony theme on your WordPress website. So let's get started. Firstly, after you have installed WordPress, go to settings in general and select anyone can register in the membership section and save changes. Now go to permalinks and your permalink structure should be day and name, click on save changes and now we'll be installing plugins, so click on add new plugins. And I'll click on upload plugin, choose file and ins install WB dating main plugin. So this is our main plugin, activate the plugin. Now next, click on add new, let me dismiss this notice. Now we'll be installing next plugin, click on upload plugin, choose file and DSP login plugin. This is for the login of the site. Click on activate plugin. Next, we'll be adding other plugins. Click on add new and search for plugin contact form 7. Click on install now. This will be installing, so we'll be also installing other plugins. Click on search Elementor. Click on install now. This will also be installing in the background. Now, search for WordFence. This is for the security of your website. Click on install now. Now we'll look for one click demo import. So this plugin is to import demo data on your WordPress website. Now click on install now. Now go to uh, now search for WP email SMTP. So this is for sending emails from your website. Click on install now. Okay, it is installing. It's installed. Now let's go to install plugins. Now let's activate them at all all at once. So select those plugins. Now go to bulk action and click on activate and apply. Now this will activate all of your plugins at once. So this will be much faster. Okay, your plugins are activated. Let me close this. Remind me later. Okay, close this. Okay, let me close all of this now. We'll be adding one last plugin. So click on Add New. So click on Upload Plugin, choose File, and we'll be adding WP Dating Elementor X Add-on plugin. So install now and activate the plugin. Okay, we have activated all of the plugins. Now let's uh, add themes. Go to Appearance and Themes, and click on Add New. Now click on upload theme, choose file. Now firstly we will be adding the default theme, this is the parent theme. So we'll click on install now. Okay, so we'll go to the theme space and add new and now we'll be adding matrimony theme, upload theme, choose file. Now select the matrimony theme as the WP matrimony theme is a child theme. So click on install now. After it is installed, click on activate. Okay, now click on the theme and choose import demo data. Now we'll be importing data. Now click on select a file, import widgets. Okay, so after you extract this file, demo template, you'll get these two files. Now we'll be importing these two files. So select the widget file and click on import, continue and import. So that WIE file is the widget file, so it's imported. Now click on import demo, demo data once again, we'll be importing Okay, let me dismiss this notice. We'll be uh, we'll be importing a file, demo file. So click on select file and now select demo demo data .xml file. Now click on continue and import. So this will import all the demo data, like demo pages, everything and all that designs. So it's also completed. Now we'll go to premium options, appearance, premium options. We'll be changing site logos, colors. Okay, now. Now we'll choose the logo, click on media library, there are image, uh, images of the logo, so select this logo image in the media library, okay, select, and you need to select both logo, default logo and retina logo, and click on save, okay, so this is being saved, now go to footer, now let's add footer logo, 
so this is the footer logo you can use it on logos and let me change this copyright message so yeah WP matrimony year 2023 now let me save this so let's save our changes okay now let's go to pages all pages and let me delete this old members page we'll only have the members page of Elementor so this is the new one now click edit this page you can open it in new tab and also let's edit profile page so in the page type you can see it's member so yeah you need to set it as member sometimes it might be default page type so you need to change it, change it to members page type now same for the profile page set it to profile page page type and click on save changes yeah now after this is done uh, let's go to settings and reading now we'll set our static pages now select this and home page will be our home page post page will be the blog page and save changes okay it's being saved now let's go to appearance and customize we'll be now changing menus and widgets so go to menus now footer menu we'll set it as the footer menu okay and main menu will be our primary menu okay so yeah let's go to widgets okay so yeah the menu is uh, changing you can see okay the, the menu has been changed now let's go to footer section and uh, change the site information so let me remove all this let me delete okay let me clear all this okay it's cleared so yeah quick links will be we'll be adding the legacy widget so click on add block and select the legacy widget select the widget as uh, navigation menu so in the navigation menu widget select uh, write the title quick links and select the quick links menu okay so we're done so you can see now quick links menu and now let's go to site information and write information of your site well, this will be a paragraph write about your website so let me write something like this uh, Matri WP Matrimony is the sorry one of the best if not the best matri matrimonial matrimonial website on the internet okay you can write anything about your website now let's go to contact details widget now click on add block legacy widget and select contact details widget and the title of the the widget will be contact details you can write your contact details emails phone numbers location everything and yeah this widget will be displayed on the footer now let's go back and go to subscribe to newsletter now this will be a paragraph let me write uh, subscribe to our newsletter okay and let me so since this is a heading title so let's make it bold and let's add another paragraph widget and write the description a little expand it subscribe to our newsletter for all the latest updates okay now let's add another contact form widget so uh, this will be our sus subscribe form okay so our widget section is also done so let me publish it okay now let's go back and go to appearance and uh, no sorry uh, let me go to pages let's fix some of the links now edit home page with elementor and same for the 404 page so we'll need to change demo urls so there are demo urls on the some of the pages links so let me copy this so this is currently the website url let's say it's in my local host but you can use your website name so copy them and edit them with Elementor to change the uh, URLs. So let me close this. Go to home page. So this link, you can set it as your website URL. Now update it. Same for the home page. Okay, the, these are all demo URLs. So edit them and use your site URL and member space. So this is the URL. Let me change all the URLs using the site URL. And yeah, this also. This will be the user story.
paste URL. Okay, so same for all the links. So block space also will be this. Let me change this demo URL. Okay. Okay, the last one. Okay, after changing all the demo, demo URLs, click on update. Now it's done. Now we'll go to contact forms. So these forms may have demo data or they might be blank. So let me edit all of them. So you'll need to use your own email. So go to mail tab and change all the details. Go to mail tab, mail tab, and we'll be changing this. Use the site admin email for to field. Site admin email. Now for the from field, we'll be using this site title and your email. Okay, and save all of them one by one. Click on save. In this way, your email data will be changed in the contact form so that you will receive your email on your email from the website contact form. Okay, so let me go to settings and we'll be changing some of the settings. And let me activate this force profile and go to free mode and for both for all ginger let me activate free mode and message also for all the message service for both gingers so in the wp admin settings we have made some changes so yeah let me save this and now go to activate license now we'll need to activate license so use your license here and click on activate and after that go to update database so you can update database and that's it okay so you we have completed the installation of WP Match or anything. Let me check if everything's all, all right. So after you have activated license, the uh, below message will be removed. So our homepage is all good. Members page. Yeah, it's all good. So this will display the users of your members of your website and the profile page. It looks good. Go to user story. Everything same as in our demo testimonials contact us everything so that's it so that's how you install wp match Me theme on your wordpress website thank you very much for watching feel free to contact us for anything and we'll be happy to help you thank you